Is your portfolio diverse? It might not be if you're not invested in real estate. Together, we are going to cover the eight reasons why you might consider investing in New York City real estate and the benefits you could reap as a result. It is truly a unique market, which is why global investors have been looking at this market for close to four decades and putting their money here. The first reason you might consider investing in New York City is because it has a strong rental market. It has a long history of high rental prices. Recently, they've gone up considerably and they're remaining stubbornly high. Now, what would dilute that? Certainly if there was less demand or if there was more supply. Let's go to the supply side first. It's hard to build a building in New York City. And while things are being built, it's not keeping pace with demand. Demand continues to be high because there are people all over the world and within our country that love to be a part of this vibrant place. Reason number two is that you have a wide variety of choices as an investor. First of all, let's talk about the fact that there's 34 different neighborhoods, depending on how you count them. So once you've identified your location, then it's price point. You can get in for a condominium as low as 500,000. And after that, frankly, the sky's the limit. Third reason is the convenience of owning. Now, as an absentee landlord, it is really easy to own property in New York City. Most buildings will have a live-in superintendent, and if not, they'll have someone nearby. So you're not woken up in the middle of the night, no matter where you are, by a tenant who has an issue. You don't have to handle that. And you can take it even a step further. Perhaps you have a luxury property and you want to protect your investment. There are third parties who will actually oversee the property and make sure that everyone who comes in to clean or fix appliances or anything that needs repair is top notch. As we review all eight benefits, I want you to remember that New York City is truly a unique market, unlike the rest of the national housing market. Manhattan is an island. Certainly the global appeal of New York City is undeniable. And as an investor, what are you looking for? You're looking for steady demand. You don't want to be at the mercy of demographic shifts, economic shifts. These are going to happen. But when you're investing in New York City, you know that it will continue to give you high demand for your investment. Number six, leverage and tax investments. Where else can you buy an investment for as little as 10% down, which is the minimum for buying a condominium in New York City? Well, certainly our mortgage rates, as I'm recording this video, are higher than they've been, and you may decide to pay all cash, which is what many investors are doing right now. Now, you can always refinance later in a condominium and cash out when rates are lower, or it can just be a safe place to stash away some of your cash. And as for the tax benefits, well, there are the traditional tax benefits you can discuss with your accountant, but did you know that there are still a number of condominiums throughout New York City that have tax abatements? This can save you a huge amount of money on your taxes, which only add to the value of that investment. Next up, portfolio diversification. This is a topic that has been covered so widely in the media that you don't really need me to go on and on about it. But real estate is a classic hedge against inflation. And I say it all the time because when prices go up, the price of your investment goes up. Now, real estate isn't for everyone. It doesn't give you the highs and lows of other financial market. It can be a little humdrum and boring that it just steadily plods along but you might want that in an environment where financial markets are looking volatile. Location, location, location. That's always what investors are looking for. And what better location than New York City? It has a vibrant and ever-changing economy that makes it a global hub desirable to many. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you found the information valuable. Let's just quickly review some of the key takeaways from this video. First up, if the New York City rental market is strong and offers investors a wide variety of choices. 
Secondly, it's very convenient to own and there are many services in place to help you no matter what you need and where you are. Third is you can expect your investment to grow over time and there is empirical evidence that this has happened in the past. And finally, real estate can offer you not only leverage, but tax benefits. So no matter what your investment goals are, there's likely to be a property that fits your goals. I hope you gain some insights into investing into the New York City residential real estate market. If you have more questions, which I suspect you will, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. DM me, call me, email me, and let's connect. I am Julia Bolin, principal of the Bolin team at the Corcoran Group in New York City. Please don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video where I bring transparency to a complicated market. Thank you.